I'm Drew. I'm Rich. And I'm Charles. And we're Midnight, Midnight Hellion. Hellion from Trenton, New Jersey. And you're watching Local, Local Band, Band Smokeout. By the one and only Unbound! Hell yeah! How we doing, guys? Let's go! Fellas, what's up? How are we doing? I appreciate you joining. How's it hey, David? We're doing great. Uh, if we're, you... excited, we're excited to be here. Awesome, awesome. We're Dude. jamming right now. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Do me a favor before we start. If you could pass the mic around, please introduce yourself. Let me know what you play in the band, where you guys are located right now, and plug or promote anything you'd like. Sure. So uh, my name is Brian. I play bass in Unbound, and uh, we're currently in my home studio where we get all of our uh, recording done. Um, uh, basically, this is where the magic happens. We get all of our producing done. Our vocal recording gets done here. Um, yeah, so I'm going to pass the mic to, uh, my guitarist. Uh, what's up everybody? My name's Cody. I play guitar and do vocals for Unbound. Um, I'm just excited to be here and happy to be part of everything here. Um, let's give it to Bob. Hey everybody. Um, I'm Robbie. I play guitar for Unbound. I, I, I started out playing bass and I recently switched to guitar I do want to ask about that hi I'm Brian I uh <laughs> <laughs> I do vocals and I'm drinking a Capri Sun oh yeah where can everybody follow you guys that that's watching kick out your, all your social media links real quick uh Facebook Instagram uh we got Yep. Yep. Here's Cody. Thanks, everybody. Uh, we're on Facebook, Instagram. Uh, we're working on a TikTok currently. Uh, that's a new navigational thing, so that'll be fun. Um, our music is out uh, pretty much anywhere you can think of: Apple, Spotify, Amazon. I'm I'm pretty sure if it's uh, any music yeah YouTube music everywhere. We've been working on a lot of cool stuff. Uh, we're in the middle of what we're going to be filming a, a video very shortly yeah. so that'll be super cool too yeah, we got we got a lot of cool stuff planned uh for the future for unbound we have a lot of a lot of stuff in the works um we have a uh, uh an ep that we're planning on putting out very soon it's going to be a four song ep um lots of variety on this ep did you guys gonna... did, did you guys record i don't mean to interrupt i'm sorry did you guys record forlorn the album as well production wise yeah, so uh, that that was done in house by uh, that's a fun John. Story, John did that, actually. right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so when we did for Lauren, actually, um, John, uh, our our drummer, he's a family of mine, and we're actually in two other projects together. Uh, we've been playing music together for a very long time. So one thing that uh, has always been incredibly easy is like that that guy is a factory for music. Like he can sit down in one setting and make you a full five, six, seven minute long song and it not be boring. Like he is incredibly in tune musically. So when we were throwing around the ideas of like becoming unbound before the name was even a thing, uh, we literally just sat on his couch till like three o'clock in the morning one day. And we, we, I'm pretty sure forlorn was the very first song we had just recorded. Um, and we sent it in a group chat to these guys. We were like, hey, does this sound like something you guys would want to do? And uh, the rest of the music followed very, very quickly. So it, it's actually hilarious. The reason I asked that is I feel like uh, Reckoning has a substantial production increase as far as like the quality of the music. Oh, that's that's all to, to this band right here. He is a like genius when it comes to that i me personally for like a production standpoint that's something that like i'm trying to actively learn more about but like he can sit there for like i'm pretty sure for days right like yeah. he's got such a good ear for production and i love that very yeah we're very we're, lucky I'm, a, I'm a stickler for that when i and i love hearing like older material and hearing hearing like the uh, evolution of the band 
But like when you hear reckoning, it just as soon as the 808 like kicks in on it, and it just it's perfectly mix mastered. Like I could tell no, I that the that, new man. EP coming is gonna be superb. Like just yeah, um, and uh, so a little thing about the uh, the recording um, about the EP. So reckoning was put out as a single. It's going to also be on the EP. Um, the mix is going to be a little different. It's going to be a little louder. It's going to. Be, I feel like that was something that uh, that the mix was lacking. But you know, that's just that's me just being maybe a little critical on myself. But you know, what uh, what DAW system do you use? So I use Reaper. Okay. A lot of people yep, that we um, that we talked to lately are I've, I'm finding are like Reapers becoming almost more predominant than Pro Tools lately. Which is oh weird. man, Reaper is so it's just the, it's so user friendly, and I've been using it for probably over ten years now. Yeah, you make it look ridiculous. And like I know all the keyboard shortcuts, of course, and um, you know like the navigating the the MIDI window for if you're doing MIDI drums. For laying the drums out, you know, I, I know where all the all everything is mapped, and you know, he sure. really makes it look easy. It's, it's kind of <laughs> I want to I want to ask Robbie, Robbie, why the switch of instrument, and how did that all go down? Um, well, um, we've known Brian for a long time, and he actually filled in for me for a show on bass. Um, I was on vacation at the time, and um. John and I got together and we decided that it was a pretty good idea to have him in the band and me switch to guitar. Hell yeah. Just, just for a heads up before we continue, for some reason, your, I think the phone like has like darkened you guys. It's not as bright as it was a second ago. Um, so we'll, we'll adjust that here. But uh, do you have a rough timetable for, for when the four song EP is going to drop? And then I want to ask a chat question, if that's okay. Oh, sure. That's, um, it, it fixed. It fixed. We, we're good. No, yeah. We, we don't have a set date for it yet. We're hoping we have a little bit more to get done as far as things surrounding the album go. Um, there's going to be a, some additional content that we're providing as well. So um, without giving too much away, you know, we, we want to keep some things on the DL, but we do want to announce that, you know, the, uh, the EP is... It is almost done. Um, we just have to get vocals, I think, on one more song, actually. And, and then... Uh, what's the speaking of vocals, the speaking of vocals, can I can I chat with Brian? Uh, in the yeah, mar- here's Brian. In, in the, in the, Brian, I, how are, how are you, sir? I dial-up brain sometimes, so... Um, oh. but <laughs> no what's worries. Up? Uh, my, my buddy Burn Like Stars is aware that you're on today. Uh, he says hello. I, I th- oh, what's up, Lloyd? Hell yeah. Um... <laughs> Tell me about what song on this EP is is the hardest for you to track. Is there a particular note or something that was that was asked for you to do that was too low or too high and took took a couple extra takes? What what particular song takes the most uh, takes to to lay down? You don't have to name the, um, the title of the song because I know we don't know those yet. But do you see what I'm saying? I don't know. I kind of stay within my limits for the most part. But um, if we're gonna talk like uh, about what's difficult it would definitely be like breath sometimes some songs have a lot like longer durations before i can take in a breath and sometimes that gets a little tricky but um for like a uh, vocal wise like doing sounds i normally stick with what i know what i'm good at do you have anything interesting you do like let's say brian's like i'll oh, come over today let's track do you have any interesting routines that you do before it's time to record? Just like vocal warm ups, or you're drinking a certain drink to to loosen up. Throat coat tea. Throat coat tea what, okay. Describe it. What what is involved in the throat coat tea? It's a. Uh, I can't remember what brand it is, but I know what it looks like when I go into the grocery store. Um. Uh, it's like a marshmallow root or something like that, and I don't know. It just. For some reason, it just it makes everything feel nice and loose, and it's, it's a game changer. yeah. And like I remember one time uh, before we played a show, um, my pra- we practiced for a really long time, and my voice was super tired the next day, and I I drank some of that, and I was just like instantly cured. It was insane. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, I have to remember that one. How did how did you guys come up with the tagline "Upstate Heavyweight"? 
Where did that originate? That was, uh, I'm pretty sure that was either John, right? That was me. No, that was you. Yeah, that was actually Brian, our vocalist, Brian. He just said upstate heavyweight bullshit one time. And we're like, oh, that's dirty. Let's let's stick with that. <laughs> let's use that one. We, we've been saying that every show. It's like, upstate heavyweight bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. It's kind of our little thing that we do. Say you have, do you have merch that fun, says that on know? it? What's that? Do you have merch that says that? We well, should. That that's actually uh, we just got we just got two more designs in for shirts. So um, probably on the next run we'll we'll design something cool like that. Yeah, there's there's definitely going to be some things with that on it yeah. for sure. Oh, yeah, definitely. That, that's that's a good idea. <laughs> Before we get into the fun questions, uh, I do want to know: Were you prepped on the trivia and the hot sauce? Oh yeah, we. Look, what you we're, got for we're ready for pain. That's uh, Carolina Reaper hot oh, sauce. Oh, you got some hot hot. Okay. I'm going to bust, I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> bust out the homemade and then the ghost pepper one. Um, but to do the trivia, you have the advantage. What movie or TV show, if you guys could agree on one or the other, a movie or TV show that you've seen so many times, if I look up trivia on this movie or TV show, you will not get stumped. Can you? I'll let you. I'll give you a second to think about it. While we're hanging, I'm gonna jump over and play Reckoning, so everybody, everybody can hear you guys, and we'll check back in in like 45, 50 seconds. So we'll discuss okay. amongst yourself. Pick a movie or a TV show. You will not get stumped. We're hanging out with Unbound. If you guys are feeling this track, I mean, hit that follow button, support them. <laughs> it seems like you already picked it, but I'm gonna let it jam. Oh, yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna let it jam for a minute. Of course. <laughs> oh yeah, so this must be John right here with the orange beard. Yeah, yeah that's John. <laughs> I'm looking at your Spotify. I know you can't see my screen, but I'm looking at your Spotify right now. <laughs> All right, what what have you selected? What movie or TV All show? Right. Definitely Star Wars. Is there a particular Star Wars episode? Any of them. You should do any of them. Any of them. Choice. This man. Your move. Okay. Is... All right. I need a second to look up some some trivia. I'm gonna go Attack of the Clones. <laughs> but uh, on regarding regarding the EP and then beyond that, have you guys talked about maybe a mini run in the future? Um, venturing, please, to to the the West Coast side, coming to hang, and uh, just what are you allowed to tell me that you have mapped out for the next six seven months? I know well, some stuff you can't say, but. Whatever no, it's all right. No, so um, so the biggest the biggest announcement that we have uh, is our uh, show with Paleface Swiss. That's on uh, September seventeenth. They're heavy. In uh in Albany, New York, um, it's going to be insane. We're already we've sold out of tickets. I think it's about a, a month now. Oh yeah. Um, so well, the other acts on that on that show, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's uh, Crown Magnetar, Enterprise Earth. Enterprise Earth. Victims like that show is going to be wild because Albany. Uh, if I could say one thing about the Albany scene, they always show out like we mosh, like we don't know what healthcare is, <laughs> it's it's just a, a thing of the where we're from. Um, I'm wicked excited for that show, like that's gonna be a, it's gonna, a blast. It's gonna be a homie. Is that is that Pale the, Faces only New York show, as far as I know? Yeah, I think I so. Think, oh, yeah, that one's gonna be crazy. Yeah. I, it's going to be a wild time. We're so excited. Hell yeah! For let, let's say and I'm I'm familiar with the process, but let's say someone is watching and is in a local band and doesn't know how to go about opening for a large international touring act. Can you go about the process? I know sometimes pay to play is involved, but it seems like you guys sold a ticket, so it was no problem. Can you just go? Yeah. Can you talk about the process of of opening for a band like that? Yeah. So. So what we've done, it's some of it's getting lucky, 
and but most of it is the grind. You know, you have to you have to have some merch. You know, you have to have a, an image. You have to have a couple shows under under your belt in order to get comfortable on stage. You have to have good support from your friends, the homies who always roll roll out to your shows. You know, the you know everybody in your town that knows you that comes out to your shows. It's all important. Um, so so getting your your name out there is uh, is super important in order to to get on these shows. People have to know your band, you know. Totally. We're putting in the time too, like that's. Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. You de- we definitely, you know, we put in a lot of time in, in this, so it's uh, it's nice to see it pay off. Do you guys play a lot, or do you kind of pick and choose and do one or two a month, and and less is more so, in some instances? So right now, um, we're doing about a show a month. Yeah. We don't we don't want to push it too much. Um, a lot of us have things going on, you know, outside of the band. I have a and small um, child. Yep, Brian, our vocalist, has a, a little one, a wee lad. It's a very small so, guy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got two two small guys myself. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So, so a run right now probably isn't in the works, and it won't be for a while. So we're gonna we're gonna play the the shows around here that we can, you know, that we can get, sure. and um. Do you do you take on other clients as as far as uh, production outside of Unbound? Yeah, yeah, I do. I can please I've plug please with, plug where where somebody yep. can contact. Um, I don't have uh, I I you can look me up on Facebook. My name is Brian Crosby. Um, Instagram as well. Uh, Instagram handle is the real B Cross. Um, I don't have a page for it. Uh, unfortunately, I I should make one. Uh, I lived out in Syracuse, New York, uh, like six, seven years ago or so. And I, that's where I did a lot of the recording. That's where I learned the most. Um, I did uh, uh, re- recordings for acoustic acts, um, for prog metal, for deathcore, uh, for metalcore. A lot of uh, a lot of weird projects, too, like that just sonically didn't sound like anything else. Oh, cool. So, I love yeah. stuff that's unique and different. But let's see if we can yeah. stump you right here on this Star Wars trivia. Do the little hot sauce. Sure. Right. In Attack of the Clones, Shmi, I think it's pronounced Shmi yep. Skywalker. Who is that person married to? You know that one? S H M I. Shmi Skywalker. Who is you know? that person married to? Anakin meets. His stepfather and stepbrother, while his name is Klee Lars. That is correct. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> We're spinning the wheel for you. What is it gonna land on? It lands on chug beer. So I have to chug a bunch of my beer and do the hot sauce. You guys are relieved of the hot sauce for this. I like to do two questions, so I'm gonna look up a little bit of a harder one. On the second yep. Star Wars one, but definitely well done. Have you guys ever considered having a big name attached, like a like a big name vocalist, like a Tom Barber or something like that for a single? Um, and if so, who would you pick? Um, so I'm gonna give Cody this uh, this one. For me personally, um, that is Mr. Tyler Sheltone of Traders. Uh, I I mean. Again, me personally, that's like one of my absolute favorite bands. Um, we had the opportunity to go and see them. It was at the Montage Music Hall with their uh, on tour with Attack Attack, and I mean, I I I spent forty five seconds outside, and then I immediately was in the pit the entire time. But um, I just have such respect for those guys because like they've been doing it for so long, and I remember when they first came out, like I had personally never heard anything like that. And I'm just like very grateful that they kind of like paved the way for for bands like us, you know, because that's probably one of the biggest. Um, I won't see like we get compared to them a lot. Um, like Cody, in, Cody have in you our, ever have you ever reached out to them about getting on a song? So uh, that was in talks to do anyway, actually. Um, but with our material that we're doing for the EP right now, I think it would probably be like a future song. Definitely. Um, like I said, Tyler's like, 
well, the whole band, all of them are very, very nice people. But Tyler specifically for me is like, uh, it's kind of like a bucket list member to have on a song for me, I guess. I don't know. What about you guys? Do you have anybody else specifically? I just said that because I feel like we get, like we're in that wheelhouse. I forget everybody I know. For me, it would have to be Phil Bozeman. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. The, the legend. I've been, uh, well, I don't listen to him as much as I used to, but back in the high school days, I used to be a huge Whitechapel fan. And I would, like, jam them on the way to school on the bus. Yep. I think so. his whole closet was Whitechapel shirts. Yep. Yeah, my, my whole closet was. Yeah. That's awesome. Does, Brian, does your shirt say Mayo Brothers? Hell yeah. What is Mayo I made, I Brothers? I made this myself. For real? Um, this is going to yeah. be a good story. Uh, yeah, um, I love mayonnaise. And... <laughs> be worried about his cholesterol. Um, what? Seriously. Like, I dip my chicken wings in mayonnaise. Like, you know, I'm all about it. Hey, two inches down. Two inches down. <laughs> I no. believe you. So it was, yeah. that's something that people do in in Europe too, right? Instead of ketchup, they they dip their French fries in mayonnaise at at McDonald's, right? That's how it started. In gravy. <laughs> well, that's how it's, okay. Yeah, I love the looks I get from waitresses when they say blue cheese or ranch, and I say mayonnaise. Um, they're like, uh, "Are you sure?" <laughs> yeah, I just randomly decided one day I was like, "You know what? I'm gonna make mayonnaise merch," and I just went on like storefronts here where you can just make designs for free and make your own store where you don't spend any out-of-pocket money and, and they're yeah, selling, that, selling that like hotcakes baby Bruh. Yeah. <laughs> hell yeah uh i do want to do another another trivia and we'll do a couple more questions second star wars trivia also an attack of the clones all right lloyd is in chat by the way burn like stars where does obi-wan track Django Fett 2. He, he goes from Camino to I'll give you a hint blank while tracking Django Fett. Remember him following him. Think, think of a rock. Camino tracks. I'm sorry, Obi Wan like, tracks Django, what, Django what, Fett. What, what's the like abbreviation for rocks? Mm -hmm. how, how, how do it's I sad know because it? he knows, he it, knows it. Genosis? Oh Genosis. my god, that is correct! Give me a hell what? yeah! My man! What? I thought I had you guys on that one. That was a hard one. <laughs> wow. I, had, I knew Brian knew that one. Was, uh, Unbelievable. He, he's almost it has landed as, uh, on a free reaction video. Awesome. When when the next single after Reckoning is ready, please yep. hit me up and just be like, Absolutely. BG, you said you owed us one. This is that one. Let me know and I will knock it out approximately an hour. So I'll try. Much. We'll try and time it so when it drops, I'm the first on it an hour later. If that's okay. Awesome. We're excited. That's awesome. Thank you. Hell yeah, that's gonna be a good one. Um, so I know I know you said uh, that it's not time yet for the small run. The, the shows and, and everyone's got stuff going on in their life. What what would it take to go about creating that, that small run? And so, maybe, maybe a small run's just two weeks, eight shows outside of uh, New York. Um, you know, it's, well, it's, it's hard because, you know, Brian has a small kid right now and he's trying to, you know, be home for, the, for his son and everything. Sound like a so. good dad to me, bro. I'm thinking about when he's at that age where I can be like, Dad's got to go somewhere for a little bit, but he'll sure. be back once I can get him at a point where he would understand stuff like that. I know my my wife uh, would be <clears throat> not have to, like, struggle or anything, and I get t get the time off work, stuff like that, you know? Totally. I, I get it. I get it. Yeah. So <laughs> we, yeah. Uh, we definitely want to do it. We just have to wait until the time is right. You know, to, to make to make bigger moves like that, you know. But sure, we, gives you it gives you a lot of time to to collect all all the singles and all all the exactly. jams and stuff, and exactly. have an arsenal of ammo yeah. to to attack everybody with. Blah blah blah. 
Well, before I let you guys go, please, once again, the floor is yours. Plug, promote anything, upcoming shows, social media links, anything that you would like us to know about. Yeah. Um, Anybody want to go? Got, I got Puzzle. Open. What? What okay. are we doing? Plug and stuff. Hang on. Oh, yeah, Sorry, General Dentist. Uh, so again, um, if if you guys want to follow us, uh, we're on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok will be up soon. Um, check out our music, but also check out our boys in Oakheart, uh, Edhara, Invoke Thy Wrath. They're all playing a stack show out in Albany um, for Edhara's CD release show. Check every single one of those bands out. They're very good friends of all of ours, and they deserve like big recognition. Somewhere to call home is a huge one. Um, our our Albany scene is very inclusive. Like we don't. Downswing. Yo, downswing, big ups. Um, downswing's hometown heroes over here. Like those guys are all incredible people. Um, we just want to. We want all of our friends to eat. You know what I mean? Like it, it's not. There's we're, a lot of food at the like, table. There's a lot of food exactly. at the table. We don't we don't like to think that like we're the biggest band in the world because we know we're not, but we like to share the love that we can with everybody that's helped us get to where we are at this point. So we're incredibly grateful for everybody and anybody that has supported shout us. Shout out, shout the fuck up, like Mike Valente. Ma- Mike Valente Huge. from uh, Upstate Upstate um Black, and, Black blue. and Blue. Yep, he's he's put us on he's so many good shows. He's been a part of the scene for an incredibly long time. And yep. I mean, every show that man puts together is an absolute dude. Yep. Wild. Shout out brick by brick. They're, they're amazing people and they do a lot for our scene and it definitely wouldn't be anywhere near what it is now without them. No way. And without Mike, he, he puts a lot of pretty much all the shows on that, that happen around yeah. here. So can I, can yeah. I ask a favor of you guys before we let you go? Can we sure. can we capture you dropping an intro for me and I'll use it all the time in YouTube videos. All I need you to say is something along the lines of, hey, we're inbound from so and so New York, you're watching local band smoke out. But you don't have to do it that way. You can do it however you want to do it. You could be goofy, serious, throw in anything else extra. Totally your call. When whenever if that's okay, whenever you're ready. Sure. Yeah. Yep. Um do you want to do uh long time? Yeah. Well, it's a cold county. Um, upstate everywhere. Yeah, yeah. upstate everywhere. Back on our coast. Yeah. How are we gonna say? Say hey, we're unbound. Um, county, New York. Upstate You gotta throw in the heavyweights. You gotta throw in the heavyweights. Line. Oh yeah, it's the definitely. Tagline. It's the tagline. All right, we're good. <clears throat> Three, two, one. Hey, we're on bound. Yo, we're with Fulton County, Upstate New York. Upstate heavyweight. Upstate Upstate heavyweight. heavyweight. Bullshit. <laughs> and you're watching. And you're watching. You're watching local, local band, band smoke out. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's perfect. It's perfect. <laughs> Hell yeah. Gentlemen, this is fun. Cody, Brian, Brian, Robbie of Unbound. You guys have an amazing day. Please let me know when that single is ready so we can sync the timing on that. I'll be more than happy to do that for you guys. But Absolutely. you guys are fantastic. Thank you, we, we, thank you so fan. much for having us. Oh, it's, it's all my pleasure, for real. You guys are amazing. We've been fans for a hot minute, and uh, we really, really are excited about that EP coming out. So please let us know. Okay. Ladies we and gentlemen. We can't wait to drop it. We can't wait for everybody to hear it. Hell yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm back. Give me a hell yeah. Later. Have a good night, everybody. Hi, what's up, sir? Welcome to the local band, Smokeout.